to see me change out this uh, four and a half year old uh, receptacle that's all busted to pieces inside to a new Furion Marine grade receptacle. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm getting our travel trailer ready to go camping tomorrow. Today is Sunday, so tomorrow we're leaving early Monday morning to go on a camping trip for three days. I open this up to plug in my dog bone up to the house power just to get the refrigerator cooled down and so it'll be ready for tomorrow morning. And I notice this, I'm gonna zoom in uh, in a minute. These pieces here came out of here you hope this turns out they just broke out of here I don't know why because when I put this um, my cord or my dog bone on here I tighten this up screw it down here tight so I don't know what caused this to break none of these are shorted out at all these uh, ears here for the electrical to connect to um, I'm gonna zoom in real close so you can take a look. I'm gonna show you right here. I found these are loose. And you can see in there a screw. And each one has one. Each one of these is loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully, instead of pulling this whole thing off here, which isn't a big deal, but I'm going to try loosening these, taking these screws out, these three screws here, and then trying to slide this out and see if I could tighten those uh, connections up on there and see what's going on uh, inside of there um, so I can get through camping for a few days. Uh, I'm going to order my parts and put those in when we get back. So let me pull this apart and I'll show you what it looks like, okay? I have no idea what caused this to break like this. The trailer is about four and a half years old. So as I was pulling the screws out, the little pieces are falling out, the little chunks of stuff here. You can see there, uh, they're all gone. This seems loose, so I should be able to pull this out if there's enough cord in there for me to do that. So I'm um, fingers crossed, I'm gonna see what I can do. So what I found here, I can't pull this out, the guts here. I'm gonna have to pull these four screws. I'm gonna show you something here that's really concerning to me. Um, first, I wanna show you, the reason I can't pull it out is because this little red wire goes up here. When I go to pull on it, it's uh, catching and holding everything in uh, place. So, but see this right here? This is where your wires go and connect on each one of these and they clamp down. But what's really concerning is this. Oh shoot, I hope I can do this. Is this is really loose here. Let's see if I can. That just shows right there that that wire is just resting against it. It's not tight. These screws right here are supposed to be really tight on there. So I could have had a short in here. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and pull these four screws and uh, show you what it looks like in there. All right, so I was able to take these four screws out, pull this out. Then there's here, this clamps down on the wire. Had to take this off. Took that off. This slides back. And so now I can see these screws here that go to each one of these. Uh, prongs here. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them all up really tight. So I'll tighten those up and then I'll show you how uh, how it's, it's strengthened them here so they don't move around. I have them all tightened up here um, and put the screws back in place. Um, they do move slightly around because they don't have that uh, little piece in there that all the piece that 
broke out of there holding these uh, prongs in place here. Um, so I put my dog bone on, it fits on, goes all the way on, it's tight. I don't think there's any chance of anything shorting out with that in place. Uh, those uh, with the dog bone on here. So I think what happened was when you know when you put this on, you put it on, then you turn it slightly to lock it in place on on this uh, ground one here. It might have went moved over because all those screws were loose and then cracked that little shield that was around here. So I think that's what happened. I'm gonna look on the internet and see if I can find, I'm gonna replace it with this Furion 30 amp, or I'm gonna find something better. I know there's something better out there, but it's real expensive and I don't wanna go that route. Um, so I'm gonna check and see, and this should get me through my camping trip. Um, I can really, I could use my solar and my inverter and everything, but there's a possibility I might need to do my air conditioner on this trip. Um, so I'm taking it just in case. So I might not even need this um, if the temperatures stay cooler. So I'll keep you posted here. I'm gonna uh, check and see what I can get to replace this. I'm gonna order it now so that when I get back, I can install it and I'll show you how I do that. My new parts arrived and I like it a lot better. And here's what it looks like. This one here that I got is actually a marine grade. So it's sealed a lot better than this one is. Um, so I'm gonna take this one out and then I'm gonna show you the difference in these side by side, how well this one, the square one's made. It looks like the bolt pattern will be the same so I'll be able to just use the same holes. So I'm gonna get this thing pulled off and um, show you the comparison um, in them. I've got this removed here. I'm just gonna take these screws out here so I can pull this apart. So I got those screws removed. This part slid back and now I'm just gonna take, loosen these screws up and everything will come off of this wire. The wires are off, so I'm gonna take the electrical connections to the bench so we can compare the one I just purchased and the one that was on the trailer. And you'll be surprised in the difference in these two units. Now that I have this um, removed, I, let's take a look at it. I open it up. Here's all the parts um, that were broken inside of it. And you can see there's nothing um, really holding it in place here. These uh, electrical connectors here that plug into your cord. Um, you have three screws here that hold um, this assembly in place. Uh, it's the threads here are pretty standard on uh, most RV hookups on the back here this just sets here in place and then your wire goes in and clamps and then you have this here standard green white and black here and then this is where you usually go in and tighten the screws up uh, on these here. So that's what this one looks like. This is a 30 amp Furion. Uh, and then this here is a gasket. You can see there's a thickness on it. And the, the uh, screw pattern for it. I'm gonna move this to the side and show you this. Since I just did the gasket, I want to show you this one. This one's much thicker. The screw pattern is the same, so that's going to be nice in installing the, the new one in place. This one is a marine grade, so you'll see a big difference in here. 
Let's see if I can show you. It's sealed in place so that if water gets in here, it's not gonna sh short things out. It's waterproof. This plastic is a lot thicker than what broke out of the other one. Um, and it's it's in place, you can't remove it. Like the other one, you could re loosen it, remove the three screws and then this would come loose. Then on the back, and this has a, a foam piece right here to seal off against here, where the other one, let's see if it had it or not. Oh, it also had that too. So there they are side by side. Then looking at the back side, this is what it looks like. Your wires go in here, and then as you tighten this up, it crimps down on it. I'm gonna take and remove this here, and that loosens it up so you get your wires in. Now you have this. This is solid in place. I'm gonna turn it and it unlocks and then this comes off like that. And then you have the green, white, and black where you put your wires. Then here, here's your, you stuff your wires in here and then you tighten these down right there. So, and it's a lot stronger pushing on this screw. And so I know that when I put this screw the wire in here, tighten these screws, it's going to be really tight. And I can trust this one a lot better than the old one. It just made more for a marine water sealed um, application than the other one. So all in all, I, I like this one. This one didn't come with screws, but that's okay. I can use the same screws that I removed from the other one. So it's a big difference. I'll put links in the uh, description below of the parts I used in this video. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. So now let's get this installed. It's fairly simple to do. I wish I had more cord to hang out here and make my life more simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this thing counterclockwise. It unlocks right here. This is on top, just like that. See that? I'm able to remove that. And you can see clearly now, you can see the, the green, white, and black, so I know where to put my wires. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wires, have them come out through here. I'm gonna loosen this up slightly so that opens up allow these wires to go inside there and hopefully this goes smoothly the wires are coming out I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit to help snug it down on the wires so they don't try and slide in on me too much I'm going to loosen it and tighten a little too much as much wire out as I can to make this easier on my life. So, there we go. It's important to do this before you hook the wires all to the, connect them all to this. If you don't, if you just put it together without this, you'll be taking this apart later. And then, don't forget to do that gasket. Just set the gasket in place here. Now we can go ahead and get the wires in. Since they're all about the same length, you gotta kinda put them in at the same time into the holes, like that. I'm gonna use these uh, wires there to hold that while I push it and then I'm just gonna make myself look like an idiot for a minute
I'm gonna snug these all up and then I'll go back around and tighten them up. That black one's in there real well. So I got up and the green. I'm gonna push this and make sure it's in there, which it is. Tighten this up. Now I'm gonna cinch them up tight. There you go. So if I hadn't put this gasket in place first, um, before I put this on um, and try to put it on later, I wouldn't be able to get it on. So that kind of shows you the importance of doing this the way I just did it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in place here. And slide it over the, like that. And then it, it'll turn and locked. It just locked in place. Now, Go ahead and tighten this up. You can see how tight it is on here. I'm gonna tighten it up as much as I can. So this will be a nice strong connection from here to here. You don't want anything yanking and pulling on this and trying to pull the wires out. And you'll regret it later. So now we're just gonna do this. Set it in here. This snapped shut while I was working on it, so I hope it pulls apart easily. There we go. I'm gonna grab the screws. Put them through here and there. The gasket. And all four of them. Like that. And I'm just gonna hope that these things line up perfectly. So my life is, stays happy. So far it looks like it's gonna, they're gonna all line up. <laughs> we'll see. You never know. Oh, look at that. It doesn't, ah, oh, there, it might line up. Let's see. You know what? They aren't lining up perfectly, so just, uh, just a second, I'll be right back. So I've come up with a plan since they aren't lining up just right. Um, these holes are really tight for these screws. So I'm going to drill them out a little bigger and that's not going to hurt anything that I can see. Uh, I'll drill them, out, drill them out a little bigger so that I can maneuver this around so they line up. So bear with me. I'm going to drill these holes out to 1564. They'll be oversized, but they'll work. I'm safe to do this. So let me see. Very careful not to drill through the siding of the trailer. So I'm doing this just uh, rather than try and put one screw in here and then one off slightly. Uh, it might mess everything up and I might not get a good bite. So I'm gonna do it this way, and this should work. Some people might be saying, oh wow, you're messing up, you're blowing it, but that's okay. I'm doing it, so this is the way I'm gonna do it. I'll just get these screws started first. 
and that looks like it's gonna work. We will see. I'm not really worried about it being real tight here because when this is over it, it helps seal it and water. I don't think the water is going to go in here uh, with this gasket, how tight it is. It's going to be plenty fine for this. Make sure the gasket sits nice against the back. Like that. I'm going to tighten this corner to corner first. Kind of like you do lug nuts on a car tire. Again, it looks like there's a gap here. Tighten it down, just snug. Since this is just screwing into fiberglass, I don't want to tighten it too tight because the fiberglass will probably crack or, or it'll just strip. So I'm doing this snug. One more on this side, it looks a little loose. There we go, it's in place. So I'm gonna get my cord and see how it fits on there. So I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and put this in place. Push it all the way on, turn it slightly so it locks in on that ground plug. Tighten that up. Turned out great. I'm really happy with this. So if, if you like this video, I hope you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you can um, see future videos that come out as I put them out. And rather than searching online and finding videos, you can see the ones I do that come up. Um, if you have any comments or uh, to, to put down, feel free to write them in the, in the uh, comment section below. I like to hear from people of uh, if they've had any problems like this before with these um, having problems with uh, breaking up like mine or shorting out or anything. It's kind of nice to put it in the comments and then other people can read it in the future to uh, see what others have said. And uh, if you want to subscribe, feel free. You don't have to. You just hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be notified of uh, future videos that I put out. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope uh, you don't have to do this someday, but you might have to. Take care. Happy camping. Stay out of trouble and have fun.